Okay, I'm going to talk about using the dividers. Uh, dividers are what we use to measure distances, and in this course, at least, we give out the Weems and Platt uh, divider. Um, it's a very good one, uh, but uh, they should all work about the same. Um, these come with options that you can have two steel points, or you can replace one of the steel points with a pencil lead. Uh, that's what I've done in this case, I have a pencil lead. really depends on what you're using it for, what the best thing would be. If you're just measuring, pen, uh, the steel points are probably the best because you don't risk breaking them. But if you're making marks on the chart, then it's a lot easier, a lot handier to have a pencil lead. So uh, on my own boat, I have one of each so that I can use one for whichever task I'm using. Right now, we'll start out with... Uh, just a pencil lead and I'll just kind of show you quickly how to use them. So they're adjustable, these are, so that we can make quick big adjustments just by squeezing and stretching them out. And then we can make fine tuning adjustments just by spinning the little wheel here. And what we would do if we were measuring distances, um, you know, we'd have two points, say, between uh, the sea buoy out at uh, New Haven to the entrance of the harbor, if I just wanted to measure that distance, I would put the point, one point on my start, the other point on my destination, however that is, and then I could measure that, and I can measure it in two places, measure it on the, the latitude scale on the side of the chart, and I could measure here 1.123, a little bit more than 1.3 miles, almost 1.4 miles, or I could use the range scale that's at the bottom. There's also one at the top of the chart, but it would be exactly the same. I put one point on my dividers on the one, and then I count off the tenths on the other side. 1.1, one, 2, 3, sure enough, almost four miles. That's how I would measure my distances. Okay, if we're gonna find latitude and longitude on the chart, that's the next problem. And uh, in our workbook, we have a, uh, the first problem that says, what is the latitude and longitude of the mark that's at the, center, at the center of the compass rose on the west side of the chart? So here we have the compass rose. We have a chart. It's another compass rose over here. It tells us our directions. This would be the east side of the chart. Here's the west side of the chart. So the problem is asking us, what is the latitude and longitude of the mark that's at the center of the compass rose? So we want to find out what that is. If we could stretch across, we would see the latitude is on the scale on the side of the chart. Longitude is on the scale at the bottom of the chart. Um, if we use the straight edge, we could do that. A lot of people do that. It's a shortcut. I do not recommend that because it's too easy to have it off. The best thing is to use your dividers because they're extremely accurate. And how you do it is you place one point of the divider on the mark that you're trying to measure, stretch it out, until it reaches the latitude line that comes across the chart. So I stretch it out till I reach it, and just to make sure that I have reached it, I'll swing an arc, and it doesn't quite touch it, so I'm gonna lengthen it out, and I lengthen it out until it just touches that latitude mark. And so now I have accurately measured how far this mark is about that, above that latitude mark, and so now I take carefully take my dividers, not squeezing them, I just hold one side. I move to the edge of the chart, place the point on that latitude mark, then I read up and I make a little mark and now I can tell exactly what the latitude is of that mark and I'll read it off the side of the chart. Here's 41 degrees and here's one minute, two, three, four, five minutes, six minutes. So the latitude is 41 degrees, 6.123, 6.4 degrees north. So 41 degrees, 6.5 minutes north. And that's our latitude. Find the longitude the same way, except longitude, I'm reading, of course, off the top or bottom of the chart. But I do the same way. I put one point on the mark, and then I adjust the other leg of my dividers, and I swing an arc so it just touches. If it's too long, then I shorten it up. If it's too short, I stretch it out until it just touches the longitude mark. And once again, carefully bringing my dividers down, 
I place the point on that longitude mark, bring it over, and I either mark with my pencil or somehow I make a mark, and now I can read what the latitude is of that mark. And the latitude is 72 degrees, 35, 40, 45, 50. So 72 degrees, 50 minutes, 51, 2, 3, 4, 54.1, 2, 3, almost 4 minutes. So 54.4 minutes west longitude. That's how I measure it. I could have also found the exact same answers by bringing it up to this latitude line up here. And this one's a lot closer. It doesn't matter as long as when I pick up my dividers, I come to the same latitude line, I mark it off. Sure enough, the mark is in the exact same place. It would have given me the exact same answer. Same with longitude. I could have measured it to this mark over here. As long as I was careful, bringing it down and marking it off, sure enough, it gave me the exact same answer. I could do it either way. I could go to any of these lines. As long as when I go to the edge of my chart, I am using the same measurement that I took at the center. And that's how we do that.